so I've been working on the transmission I'm doing a transmission service on this 97 Dodge truck with the overdrive automatic transmission the 46 RE ran into a couple issues and the reason I did the service was because it was slipping a little bit well come to find out when I was checking all the vacuum lines and hoses and all that and, and correcting them you know of course I'm up in the engine bay with the truck uh, noticed the, a piece broke off off the throttle body I thought it was cruise control it's the kick down cable so that's what sets the line pressure and uh, gives it enough pressure to shift into second and third and so on without that hooked up it's going to slip and burn out so uh, yeah broken tool garage well guess which one's broken this time the rig or me right okay I need to replace my TV cable throttle valve cable not television uh, also known as a kick down cable the older Dodge stuff had a uh, on the upper lever on these two had a um, mechanical setup on there instead of a cable so what we got is a spring stop getting in the way of the light got the spring that needs to come undone and then this is clipped on here and then this just slips up out of there. I took it off already, so I kind of know somewhat how it comes off. Uh, don't lose that spring. You have to have it because that's your rebound for it. Uh, it's not really that hard. It is a two-hand job, though. So once I get this clip or spring undone, get this unclip and get this off, it uh, should be fairly free. Looks like someone put a zip tie on that. But, uh... I'll just keep following it up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Looking at it cross-eyed. Looks like it might be a zip tie up or a clamp or something right up in there. Yeah, right, right here. Sorry. Looks like it's clipped on to the fuel line to hold it in place. Then it just goes up to the engine bay where it unclips. Mine has unclipped itself uh, by breaking. That's why I'm replacing this one. Okay, bottom side is undone. And I'm working on the top side. Looks like it has a, a nice connector in there that'll have to kind of be screwdrivered and, and pushed in there because it's just a square lock. It goes into a square hole. If I maybe get my arm out of the way, look at the screen. right there so this flange pops out after it goes into the square hole square peg square hole so this is what my problem is right here it's supposed to clip on there and the clip is no longer clipping so that is a must on these it's just like trying to run your AOD without a TV cable you can do it <laughs> not long <laughs> All right, a little closer view here. So uh, this is just a metal bracket, and that just slides in there. And that's all that holds it in. So I'm going to get to work on that. I'll, I'll probably show you the tools. A little bit closer view of that right there. What broke, right? All right, back at it. All right, I took more time videoing the thing than, to, than getting it out. So results may vary. But I pushed a bottom clip up with that. And then I had my pliers up here and just kind of pinch it in and just push it in. So that's probably one in a million. So if I had to do that on another truck, uh, I'd probably be fighting it for 30 minutes. So I'll just pull it out. And then hopefully it's got a part number or something on it. Because I noticed there's a couple different part numbers for these. And I'm not familiar at all with these. This is the first Magnum truck I've worked on. So we'll see. Okay, I got the new TV cable in, right there. Ordered it on Amazon, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna pull it out of the package. I've retained my old one so that I can check it against that. All right. So there's the end there. See the piece broke off now. See if I can get it, see if it's the same length here. Try to. Okay. 
Okay, that, that piece is in the same location. Might be a hair shorter. It's, it's, it takes two hands to really do this, so. Here's the new, there's the old, same construction. I think that piece kind of snaps onto there, but like I said, kind of a two-handed thing. So I'll, I'll get it drawn out and make sure it's the same length, and then I'm going to go on to the install. Okay, pretty straightforward. I did take the air box off so that I have a little more room and I can see a little better. But it's kind of just the opposite is... Uh, these two clips fit in there. I opted to fish it down like that instead of trying to fish it up through the bottom, right? So it is clipped in right here. These two clips are in, secure. I fished it to the bottom and let's go look and see what the bottom looks like. And on we go. Oh yeah, in front of the fan. I know it sounds really good, but all right. So once I fished it down, get stable here. Well, that piece is right in the way. So it, hmm. Yeah, the the line and everything's right in the way. So let me try to get a different angle here. All right, there we are. So I slid it down in there, and then I come back and found my uh, clip. Well, now I can't see the other way. <laughs> Sorry, it, it just, it's hard to film this kind of stuff, you know? All right, so once I did that, I'll get you back reference, so here's the line. It is coming down. I looped it around, hooked it in. So this is where the the little mount clips in. It come off the fuel line, so it actually clipped right back on there. And then I come back, and um, where the uh, kick down is, I hooked it. You can barely see it there. It's. Uh, I'm sorry. It just I'm gonna turn you upside down. All right. There, there just really isn't a great way to, to take a picture of all this. That's basically how I had to put it in, is roll over on one side, roll over on the other, right? So then I clipped it onto there, and don't forget the spring that hooks up. I'm sitting on my light cord. The spring, now I've got to figure it out, there it is. <laughs> the spring hooks up here to here, right? So it pulls it back. So once I put the spring on, I'm gonna go back up top and do my adjustment. Now to get out, without dropping you. Okay, I'm gonna show you the adjustment place on here. That's this little button that needs to be pushed in here. See the little arrows? And uh, this piece will slide forward to give you more adjustment. My cable, when I got it in, it was all, way, all the way adjusted back that way, and I had to come forward just a little bit. This is a pain in the butt. It, it doesn't really push in very nice. This is the old one, you know, it's out so you can see it, but it's about as hard to push in. So uh, you'll just have to figure out your method of doing it. Make sure that you check the uh, whatever owner's manual or repair manual on how to set that correctly for your vehicle. So those adjustments can vary on these. I have my method of how I adjust it, but that's how I do it. Okay, well that's how you install the TV cable. So what I'm gonna do is make sure it has enough fluid and go for a test drive and then see if I need to adjust it any further. See if it's too weak and shifts too fast or if it's too strong and it shifts too hard. Oh, that, that just brought in a uh, cool breeze. I needed that, because it's hot in here. All right, well, on the test drive. Okay, test drive did go good. I, uh, what I did was, uh, since I did service it at the same time, I stopped walking right up against the truck, right? <clears throat> so, uh, test drive went good. 
what I've done is, uh, since I got it warm, I brought it back and um, you know went through all the gears and everything. They seem fine. I chalked it up because this truck you have to check it. You have to check the fluid, hot, idling, and neutral. So that's what I've done. I've topped off the fluid. So it took six quarts for the service that I've done on this truck to get it filled right back up. All right, so that's how you change the TV cable or kick down cable on a 97 Dodge truck. Test drove it, test drove good. So the shifts are where I want it. I've drove it around just a little bit to make for sure once the transmission's good and warm. And I like where it's at. So if you like what you see, make sure to hit that like. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe so you see uh, one of my other contents coming out. You can always uh, click on that bell over there too, right? So make sure to share too. That way other people can see this content and it'll be useful to a bigger community out there, right? So say so again, right? You know what's coming. See you next time on Broken Cold Road.